Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. This video, I'm gonna show you how to use the backpack in Scratch. Now the backpack is this little uh, tab down here. When you click on it, it opens up this thing and you can store code, you can store images, you can store costumes, you can store sprites, all sorts of stuff inside of here that you can use across your different projects. So for instance, whenever I'm making a Boot Up project, I always have this sprite that is a thumbnail and I can just click and drag this and it brings out all the code that I keep stored in here and it gives me some costumes that I can work with to change the title and the subtitle for any of the boot up projects. Now, as another example, uh, let's say you really like this project, the super jumpy Scratch Cat. When you click on Scratch Cat, it makes it do this thing, cool. So you can actually take this code, drop it into your backpack, and then it saves it right here. Now, when you go back into this project, in order to get it to appear, all you have to do is click on backpack to close it, and then click one more time to open it, and now you can put this code onto Amen. Now notice, however, it's not going to meow. And the reason why is because I move the blocks, but there is no sound that is meow. Instead, the only sound that is here is pop. So I have to switch it to meow or to pop and then I can make it run this code. So whenever you're using your backpack, just make sure that uh, you test out the code to make sure it works in this new location. Now, as another thing, if you're ever using code from somebody else's project, you wanna go to the C project page, and then you want to, under the notes and credits, write where you got the code from. So if you got the code from one of your friends in your class, then just write in, I got the code from, and then give this person's uh, Scratch username, like boot up. So that's how you use the backpack in Scratch. Just remember, if you're borrowing anything from anybody else's project, that you write down under the credits where you got it from. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.